Hey everybody, it's Kneecap here, and welcome to This Week in WoW for the week of June 30th. Uh, we actually have a piece of exciting news this week uh, in World of Warcraft, but first, let's go ahead and start with the Mythic Plus fixes. This week we have Tyrannical, Teeming, Volcanic, and Awakened. Again, that's Tyrannical, Teeming, Volcanic, and Awakened. Now, last week I said that I would start putting in the uh, Corruptions being bought. Of course, this is going to change on Friday as well, so I guess I'll just give you the Tuesday, uh, the reset day, and then the midweek um, corruptions, okay? So for the very first uh, day, the reset day, we have Expedient 1, Severe 3, Twisted Appendage 1, Racing Pulse 2, Echoing Void 2, and Infinite Stars 3. Now with the midweek reset, we're then going to have Racing Pulse 1, Masterful 3, Strike Through 1, Void Ritual 2, Avoidant 1, Surging Vitality three or 2, and Twilight Devastation 3. So those are all your um, corruptions for the week, including the, the midweek reset. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, talk about the most important thing probably for this week, and that is the Shadowlands reveal stream that they planned on doing last month. Uh, his, or at the beginning of last month, was it? But uh, regardless of when it was, it has now been rescheduled for um, uh, July 8th. So that isn't technically in this week. That will be in the next week. Um, but it, it is scheduled now, and that is very important. Uh, keep your eyes on that. I expect we'll get a lot of important dates and a lot of important information out of that stream. It'll be at noon Eastern, uh, again, July 8th, noon Eastern. So... I'm definitely looking forward to that. I'll talk about it more next week because it will happen next week and then I'll have a video about it after it comes out. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about what is going on in game this week. We have uh, the Arena Skirmish bonus event. Again, not a great... Uh, these events that are somewhat useful in the middle of an expansion are not as useful at the end of an expansion. Unless you just want to farm our honor. Uh, then we have the Time Walking Dungeon event, which we're going to have one of these every week for a little bit here. And... Um, this is going to be Wrath of the Lich King, and the, the big thing with this is you're going to get bonus reputation for that expansion. So if you're doing Wrath of the Lich King things this coming week, uh, you will get bonus reputation with them. Like last week, you would have gotten bonus Burning Crusade reputations. So uh, that's what they're doing there to kind of uh, stimulate people getting those done, especially after the level squish, I expect people will just completely stop playing certain expansions, so I think this is kind of just a way to let everyone catch up their rep if they haven't done it yet, is honestly my takeaway there. And then we also have the Fireworks Spectacular, that's on July 4th, that is, of course, uh, American Holiday, July 4th, <laughs> and um, uh, or Independence Day, whatever you'd like to call it, and so there's kind of a little fireworks event in-game for that. Um, and then we also do have the Dark Moon Fair starting, so even though it's um, it won't happen much this week, uh, towards the tail end of this week, uh, we'll have the Dark Moon Fair starting, mounts, uh, toys, achievements, uh, all kinds of cool stuff to go to the Dark Moon Fair and do, uh, free profession skill ups. I always make a point to talk about it when it comes up, so uh, go do the Dark Moon Fair, have fun doing it, hopefully. Um, and collect all the stuff there is to collect at least you know at least that part could be fun uh the midsummer fire festival also ends the same day uh that's uh sunday uh july 5th is when that ends so um i think that's about it this week uh could be a pretty pretty fun couple weeks here with more shadowlands news that is what i'm looking forward to as someone who's not on the alpha i'll just take any bit of news i can get i guess since i can't actually experience it uh, please subscribe to the channel because that helps me out the most. And other than that, everybody have a good one.